Hey guys, uh, we had a really, really great weekend at Peterborough and as a club we performed, our club and a squad I should say, we performed out of our skin. And what was really nice about the event this time was that it wasn't just uh, us masters that were there. The senior women had three crews there who were on great form. In fact, they absolutely smashed it. They won uh, the two events that they, uh, that they went in for. Um, and there was a junior crew there as well, although um, we didn't see them uh, competing. But um, it was just really nice to travel with other club members. Let's now go look at some of the results. You can check these out yourselves online. If you go to raceleader.co.uk, click on the competitions tab, and then look for the Lucas Fetis Peterborough Regatta Sunday, uh, and click on details. Um, so here we are, and you'll see 930 athletes competed on the Sunday, which is pretty cool, 76 clubs. Um, and this map here, locations, will show you where they traveled from. So you can see it's a pretty good regional event. It draws crews in from across the country. Slightly sad at a master's level that crews from uh, Tideway, people like Quintin, Molsey, Crabtree, they tend not to travel much. But the thing about Peterborough is it's really high quality multi-lane racing. And I think it's a real shame that we don't get more people converging on places like Peterborough to really pit the, the best the country has to offer against each other. But there you go, that's just my thing. Anyway, look, I would recommend you checking out this website if you're interested in what we're up to and you want to have a look at the results, but I will take you through some of them right now. Let's start big picture, look at the Victor Ludorum. On the overall ranking, you'll see Star Club came second, but that actually masks the real story because if you look further down here, you will see Star Bedford, Star Bedford. And we, as you will know, if you watch this site, row as a combined squad. So add those together and we would have smashed it. What a shame. As it happens, York University um, stole Victor Ludorum on the very last race of the day when their mighty powerful uh, senior women's eight uh, rode to victory. And uh, up until that point, the Victor Ludorum was ours. Anyway, there you go. Look at the breakdown. There we go. On the, men, on the men's side, you can see we came second. Once again, our combined squad together would have won that, but hey, we're not a combined squad, so we're not a one club, so there you go. And on the women's side, Star Club came third, behind Eaton Excelsior and York. So a pretty good, strong performance all the way around. Now, let's go take a look at some of the individual crew performances. So let's start out by looking at the Women's Masters EF double, uh, which was Kim and Sue. Uh, they had a field of eight entries into that class. So there were two heats, uh, four lanes each. Um, the first heat uh, was a win for Star Club at a time of 4.18. And the second heat was a win for Eaton Excelsior in a time of 4.23. So our girls put in the fastest time in the heat and they then went on to win the final. So a really good win that in a full field that featured um, Eaton Excelsior, Warwick, Peterborough, Loughborough, Sudbury and York, all of which are top class rowing clubs. So congratulations Kim and Sue, that was a mighty fine win. Next up we had a Masters D8 which was rowing in a straight final against Canterbridge, City of Cambridge and Loughborough Boat Club. And I can tell you, the guys in the D8 absolutely stonked it. You may remember from earlier blogs that I'd said that this boat was flying. And if you were following us on Instagram on the day, I think I talked about it too. Well, they did not disappoint. Despite what all agreed was a very slightly shaky start, the guys got into rhythm pretty quickly and produced a time of 3.07 for the 1,000 meters, which was 0.6 of a second faster than the winning boat in the final of the open band one, and only 0.4 of a second slower than the winning boat in the open band two. So that, for a master's crew, is absolutely stonking. Also racing that day was the Star Club women's quad in band one. And what you're looking at now is the heat. 
But in the final, the uh, ladies raced De Montfort and two Peterborough City crews, and they won in a spectacular time of three minutes and 29. Hard fought race all the way, but another outstanding victory for Star Club. Go Star! Next up, it was the turn of the Masters E and F combined for minus category. Now, if you have watched my previous blog about the event, you will see that our F crew was actually a G and therefore were a little bit hard done by. The E crew did prevail on the day. The uh, raw time was 328.2. An adjusted time would have been 321.2, uh, which would have been enough to win the D4 minus and the C4 minus as well. So again, a good performance from the Star Club crews. Next up, we had another new combination for the Bedford Star Squad, featuring a couple of members who've uh, recently just joined the combined squad, and that was competing in the Masters C and D Coxed Fours. So there were three crews in the race. City Cambridge was racing as D, and Bedford Star and Broxburn were racing as Cs. Um, the story of the race goes like this. Um, Bedford, Star and Broxwell had to give away a seven second head start, but the City of Cambridge was never really in the race. Um, it was a two horse race after about the first 250 metres. Um, I think probably good length and strength saw uh, Bedford Star pull, a, pull ahead and um, they remained there. And as you can see here, they rode pretty strongly through to the finish and Broxbourne, who we've rode against in the past, would not be able to catch them. Now you may think, because I keep showing you wins, that this is an easy sport. Let me assure you, it's not. It's specifically not if you're the ones rowing against us. But in this race, David and Ivan had to face off against Norwich, who have a real pedigree in Masters E doubles. Also racing Bentham Boat Club and Holloway Scull Hollowell Scullers with the aptly named Bonkers stroking the boat. Well, the story of the race went like this. Norwich, as you can probably see, had a reasonably easy lead and came in to win. Uh, David and Ivan, uh, for us, came second, Bentham third, and Hollowell in fourth. That is all the video I have for you today. There were other wins. There was a notable win in E4, in the E quad, sorry, uh, setting a new course record, in fact. Um, so again, we got high hopes um, going forwards for the E quad, and also a really good win for the senior women in a double. If I've missed anyone, I'm sorry, but that's all the video I've got. See you next time.